whether you're using an iPhone or a Samsung phone, converting your physical SIM to eSIM is pretty easy. All the different ways that you can do it involve you getting in touch with your carrier or mobile network operator. You can do this by heading to one of their physical stores and requesting for a swap from physical SIM to eSIM. Pretty much what they are going to do there for you is generate a QR code, take your phone from you, scan that QR code and set up your eSIM on your phone. Now, some carriers or mobile network operators allow you to do this remotely. You can log into your account on their website and request for an eSIM. What's going to happen is that that carrier or mobile network operator will generate the QR code for you online and then you can download it right from their website and then you scan it with your smartphone camera and it will set up your eSIM on your phone. Some network operators also have a mobile app that allows you to do this. You really need to know how your network operator or your carrier does this thing. Whichever way they do it, get in touch with them. They'll set up your existing number on an eSIM profile. And once that eSIM profile has been activated on your phone, your physical SIM card is deactivated and you can remove it from your phone. Take note that for this to work, for you to be able to use an eSIM on your phone, your phone has to be eSIM compatible. Not all phones are. All iPhones produced from the last several years support eSIM. Premium flagship Samsung phones and a number of mid-range models support eSIM. The Google Pixel series support eSIM. Premium flagship Motorola support eSIM. You can explore with other phone brands as well. How do you set up eSIM on your phone? to use whatever QR code that your mobile network operator is providing. For example, on an iPhone, type eSIM in the search bar at the bottom there, and it will bring you some of these results. Add eSIM at the top there. Add eSIM at the top there is one of them. Tap on it, set up mobile service, and this is what it says. You can transfer a phone number from a nearby phone or scan a QR code from your network operator. So if you have a nearby iPhone that's already using an eSIM, that's the first option, transfer from nearby iPhone. You don't, right? Because you want to convert your physical SIM to eSIM. So use QR code, that's the second option. And the third option is transfer from Android. If you have your eSIM already on an Android phone, yes, you can do that. So we're going with the second option and I'm tapping on that. It's asking me to scan the QR code. All you have to do is now scan that, assume that the QR code is on this screen, right? Scan that way and it will initiate the setup of your eSIM profile. Complete the process, it's very simple. It's pretty much like any other thing you do on your phone. Don't get scared about it. Just continue with the prompt till it is completed. Once it is completed, your eSIM will get active and you will see an icon there in the notification bar at the top showing you that your eSIM is active. The physical SIM card that's in the phone, if it was in here, will become inactive and you can remove it. Now also, when your network provider sets up a QR code for you, sometimes they also add, they give you manual details. So if you prefer to set it up by manual details, if you look down here, you see enter details manually and you can now type in the activation code, SMDP address, confirmation code, and all of that. I think that the QR code thing is more straightforward. Typing in a code manually makes room for mistakes. So if the QR code is available, just scan it and go ahead and set it up. The, the process is very similar for Android phones. I am using a Samsung smartphone for this demonstration. So what you are going to do is go into the settings of your Samsung phone. In the search section, type in SIM or SIM manager. That's SIM manager at the top there, SIM manager there, 
one of the options available to you is add eSIM. So if I tap on that, how to add eSIM, scan QR code is the first option, search for eSIMs is the second. So we're scanning for QR code, right? Tap on scan QR code and similar to what we got on the iPhone, you have to scan that QR code. If the QR code is here, right, you scan it, same way you scan anything else on your phone, with your phone, you scan and continue with the setup. Again, enter activation code so you can do it manually, but I, I think that the QR code is more seamless. Scan, complete the process. It won't take more than a minute or two. Complete the process and your eSIM profile will be activated on the phone and the physical SIM card disabled. That's it. So what are the steps? I'm going to walk you through them once again. You need to get in touch with your carrier or your network operator. If they allow you to download a QR code remotely, download it and then carry out the processes I have shown you on these phones in order to set up that eSIM on your phone. Once you set it up, completed it, the physical SIM card will get deactivated and you can discard it. If your carrier or mobile network operator does not allow you to download the QR code remotely, then you have to physically go to one of their outlets or stores and request for a swap from your physical SIM to an eSIM. They will do the swap, the physical SIM will get deactivated and you can walk out of there in about five minutes with eSIM activated on your phone. Let me know how it goes. I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to like this video. Follow my channel, turn on your notifications and share the goodies everywhere you can share. I'll appreciate every share, every like, everything you do to help grow this channel. I'll see you in the next one.